One of the things that you really start to gain appreciation for when you come to an event like Sea Air Space 2024 is really just the wide cross section of America that's represented by our men and women in uniform. Folks that have skills that go well beyond their military training, like the subject of this week's debrief. Meatball, lineup, AOA. Meatball, lineup, AOA. Ball, ball, ball. I'm not so sure about this one. Ugh. Huh. We're good. That's a clip from a video called Best Arrested Landing Narration. Dot, dot, dot. Ever? Question mark. And it's from the Fly Rob Roy YouTube channel, a place that offers viewers an inside look at life as a naval aviator. The video prompted us to want to know more about Rob Roy, the content creator, so I sat down with him for a virtual interview to hear more of his story. All right, Lieutenant Rob Roy, uh, formerly with the U.S. Navy, thank you so much for joining us uh, for, for this conversation on weapons and warfare. Um, really just want to kind of to dive right in. Uh, I mean, you are a lieutenant in the Navy. You, you flew, uh, pr you know, propeller planes. How did you how did you get into it? Where did you start? Awesome. Thanks for having me, Ryan. Yeah, I was lieutenant in the United States Navy. Uh, I got out about two years ago. Uh, I got commissioned at the Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland in 2001, and then I went to flight school shortly thereafter, Pensacola, Corpus Christi, Texas, Meridian, Mississippi, back to Corpus, and then ultimately started flying uh, the mighty C-2 Greyhound uh, out of Norfolk, Virginia uh, in the mid-2010s with VRC-40, my squadron. And for folks who don't know, the C-2 Greyhound, it's one of, what, two propeller planes that can land on aircraft carriers? Yeah, the E-2 Hawkeye. It's got the big dome on top, so if people have seen the recent Top Gun Maverick movie, there's a two and a half second shot of a Hawkeye, you know, controlling uh, the aircraft, basically. We are a version of that, take away the dome, same propellers, same cockpit, basically, but a lot fatter of a body of an aircraft and take away all the officers in the back and replace them with 30 souls. So a couple air crew and a lot of passengers or 10,000 pounds of cargo or a combination of the two. So we were the the cod for the, uh, the air wing, the carrier onboard delivery. So we brought all the mail, cargo, people, distinguished visitors, supplies, engine we parts. Uber for the Navy. We were literally Uber for the Navy and Amazon Prime basically delivers for the Navy. I had an Amazon Prime patch 30 years ago. They had a USPS postal service patch. So, and I would bring on like pizzas and shawarmas and some people would get tuxedos and suits at the, uh, the local markets overseas. And like they would go there on their, you know, their Liberty call. And three weeks later, we'd like pick up all their orders and bring out huge boxes of custom made suits and, and whatnot to the, to the air wing. Yeah. It's a good time. When did you, you have a YouTube channel and it's, you know, it, you started it obviously when you got out of the service. Is that right? I started it in fall of 2020 because like everyone else, I was kind of bored and COVID. <laughs> Here we go. Flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog. Shit, never gets old. Woo. One more time. So I uploaded these videos uh, in the fall of 2020 or a couple of them. I knew that they would pop with like 10,000, maybe 100,000 views. No idea. No idea they would get millions of views uh, a few weeks or months later. Um, because when I recorded it, it was for my wife and my mom, basically. I put it on Facebook at like, you know, 1,000 views, whatever. And I didn't record it for the whole point of YouTube. I mean, if I could do it over again today, knowing what I know about building a brand and, and even telling the Navy story, it'd be like, hey, guys, you know, let's follow me out to the... We're going to go... Right. I didn't know that. Right. I just... I just... You're so focused on the mission. It was... A lot of during pre-flight, you know, certainly before I did the first couple, it was really testing like, will these work? Are these GoPro grips going to hold kind of thing? Once all that was dialed in, it was like, you know, because I'm not trying to be a nuisance to my co-pilot, to the air crew, to the mission. So yeah, like you, have, you get in. Yeah, there's more important click, things to play than yeah, YouTube, right? Yeah, And then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm focusing on the, on the carrier landing on the boat. And then, we're, okay, we're about 10 minutes from landing. Boop, boop. And you're done. Like you don't think about it anymore. Then I just, I'm, if you watch the videos, I completely focus on the task at hand. I kind of forget there's even a GoPro there. Maybe one or two. I'm getting ready to take a catapult shot. I kind of look at it because we're just literally waiting to, to get launched at that point. But yeah, that's, that's how I want started. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for staying focused on mission and uh, keeping me too. That's a secondary. Oh yeah. Uh, but but also thank you for for launching this because it you give people an insight into something that, you know, we don't see on an everyday basis and you right. have a good personality and you add some humor to it. So yeah. Uh, from, from your audience perspective, I understand why it popped. Um, Appreciate that. Yeah, you bet. So when the, when the idea came to, to do like, Hey, you know, these videos are doing pretty well. I'm going to start leaning into it. Like, obviously you've gained some notoriety within the world of, of, you know, YouTube streamers and all that kind of thing. What's kind of been the, the personal impact like you get recognized when you're out and about i've been recognized twice 
like actually randomly once was at a restaurant in you know Washington state and just with during COVID with a mask on and everything. And yeah. that was kind of very surprising. I kept hearing like Rob Roy, maybe I'm like, okay, I'm not hearing things. <laughs> and they were being really nice. And then one other time was at Oshkosh, which just kind of made sense. Cause I was there at the big air show. Um, but no, no one, nothing too crazy. I think the reason is because a lot of my videos, my visor's down. Uh, we didn't wear a mask, like all the Hornet guys. I can't even see who they are, but the visor's down. You can't hear me talking because, again, I recorded it in 2015. I didn't really – I wanted to record the audio, but I just couldn't – at the time, between Amazon and, you know, BH Photo and Video, like whatever, I couldn't find the adapter for the very specific Navy plugs. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think as my channel grows and pivots, I'm kind of moving into more of a general aviation direction the next couple of weeks and months. I think it will definitely – get more, you know, exposure with my face and my voice. But uh, at the time, you know, a lot of my Navy buddies have reached out and just, you know, said they like what I'm doing and, you know, represent the Navy in a good light. I think it's just about all the, the questions that I had for you today. Um, really appreciate your time, uh, L- Lieutenant Rob Roy. Uh, and we talked about this before we hit recording, but your namesake is awesome. And for yeah. folks who are not fans of history, you should look up Rob Roy, not just the movie that Liam Neeson was in, but also the character from from history, the, the man yep. from history, who yep. Rob Roy is, right? Yeah, great guy. Yeah, no relation, unfortunately, to the McGregor clan. I wish that I was, but I pay a lot of respect to Rob Roy. Um, and I feel like if, the, if any McGregors in Scotland are listening want to give me a free pass to a clan meeting, I'd love to join up because uh, I have a lot of, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of uh, – feelings in my heart uh, because my whole life just you know been associated with, with him and whatnot some people some people think it's a call sign but no it's my real name and if you want to check out rob's stuff and you'd be happy you did here is where you can find him in all of the creator spaces mm-hmm.